Good afternoon, Scarview 312, Gurkha Marquesa. It's a Bellicoso cigar, meaning, of course, hammer or war. Uh, so it's a torpedo type shape, five inch, 54 ring gauge. Price really depends on where you get it. I think I paid $11 maybe in a shop. Uh, the lowest I've seen is about $8 on the internet. Dominican made. Eh. I used to love Gurkha cigars. I was a huge, huge fan for a long time. Then the quality, it, it just went down, period. Uh, if you go on like a cigar subreddit or something, they, they get trashed, just absolutely trashed. But they're not all bad. I think they're one of those brands people love to hate. I don't hate them. In fact, I, I do like them. But this is kind of an example of missing the mark. It draws pretty poorly. Right, that's pretty bad. To the point where it's almost gone out. We can look in the cigar and see that it is not burning evenly. Um, some people on Thread were talking the other day, well, oh, the cigar is burning unevenly because of humidity or the way it was lit. Yeah, th those can absolutely both be factors, for sure. But tobacco is not missing in the middle of a cigar because of the way it was lit. It's missing because it was rolled poorly. I mean, we can see clear pitting here where it is just got chunks kind of that is missing tobacco. Anyways, that being said, notes of chocolate, a little bit of toffee, maybe a tiny bit of coffee that's stuck in there for a split second, and then almost like tart berries. I got almost like really ripe raspberries or blackberries. And then I also got some of the kind of fire cured taste. You would get in some of the Drew Estate cigars. That kind of campfire, you know, this has been smoked over, you know, whatever. It's basically the way of Lefroy taste. That's kind of what I got in the cigar for a second. Um, would I recommend it? Absolutely not. Sorry, but even at $8, it's hard pass on that. 10 or $11 is just ridiculous. All right, to me, frankly, if I paid $5 a cigar for this and a whole box, I'd still be a little annoyed. $3, I can see it, right? If I got 20 of them for 60 bucks, great. Uh, anything other than that, huge waste of money. So that's going to be a strong do not buy rating on the cigar because it is massively overpriced. That's it for Cigar Review 312. If you have not subscribed, please do. And as always, thank you for watching.